really uh, compliments you on the hard work you did. Uh, like your rankings from top to bottom, for the most part, I think it's interesting. Um, I'm not, I don't have a hard opinion on USC and Oklahoma. I think it'll be very interesting. Uh, this is about programs, of course. I think you've got more, what do you want to call it, a foundation of your ranking with the Oklahoma program than the USC program. I guess a little higher on the combination of venerables and the program stability than I have on USC. Uh, I'm going to jump right into quarterbacks. Uh, I respect your ranking of Iowa and Wisconsin. I think though both programs have better quarterback play. They could go up in the ratings, but they don't. Really like your Kentucky rating as far as quarterback play, stability, and coach. The only one I want to dive into, because you're going to have a lot of interest in this program, it's a great topic, is the Oklahoma City right next to Michigan. I think you had Oklahoma 7 and Michigan at 8. Yes. And um, I don't, I'm guessing I don't give Harbaugh at Michigan as much credibility as Venerables coming into Oklahoma, mainly because Venerables has Oklahoma roots. I know his history. I know uh, Harbaugh's history. Uh, I just can't see those programs next to each other. And I think your, your validity of the 22 season with the programs, you'll have a much better shot of looking good with Oklahoma at seven than Michigan at eight. I don't, I don't want to call Harbaugh one hit wonder at Michigan, but when I look at the Michigan program, I think they benefit by Ohio state just having a blip in their defensive side of the ball, their ability to beat Ohio state. And uh, I'll leave it at that and listen. Well, I basically ranked all the programs where I believed that they belonged. Um, I think Michigan had a slightly better football team this past season than Oklahoma, and uh, they brought in a recruiting class that was a couple notches higher than Oklahoma's in 2022. So despite the coaching circus on display for the past six weeks, Michigan still out recruited Oklahoma coming off a season in which they were better than Oklahoma. I still believe uh, that based on a number of things that you cited that Oklahoma's uh, still slightly better. Thus the seven versus eight ranking. How close were you to dropping Michigan a little lower than eight? Oh yeah. But you got to look at the teams that I had just below them. Like I, I just, there are, there are a few programs that have, so you've got your programs that are elite. Okay. There's only four or five. And then you've got your programs that you decided like Kentucky, Iowa, Wisconsin that are rock solid, steady. And we, we pretty much can predict where they're going to be year to year. And then somewhere in between, you've got a lot of programs that have a lot of enormous pluses but they've not been performing. Uh, Michigan, of course, has, or at least did this past season, and Oklahoma has across the board. They do have a first-year head coach, so Brent Venables, for as well-respected as he is, still is a first-year head coach who has not proven to be a head coach. Uh, but I'm talking about programs like Florida, Ole Miss, LSU, all these programs, even Penn State has not been good the last two years to warrant the ranking. Like I, I could certainly see all sorts of people calling in and saying, why is Penn State number 10 in the country? And I would say, I understand your point. Um, if somebody presented my rankings to me, I'd probably shoot a hole in half of it too. Um, so I, I think I'm looking at, if we're looking at the top 30% of college football, those are kind of the three type programs we have. We have the elites, we have the steady uh, programs like Wisconsin and Iowa and Kentucky, and then we have these just bastions of wealth and resources and recruiting footprint, but they've had coaching issues and 
coaching changes and I'm looking at Texas and USC and LSU and Michigan almost was one of those. Um, and aside from that two and four finish in 2020, Harbaugh has been winning nine or 10 games every year. Who do you have? Could you repeat your number 11, number 10 and number nine team? Hmm. So at, uh, I've got after Michigan at eight, Oregon nine, Penn State 10, Wisconsin 11, Kentucky 12. I could move some teams around between eight and 12, and I, I just can't give program stability at Michigan, given the lift that I think you may have or may not have given for one year with the status of the program 12 months ago versus now, I just, I can move those, those teams or I can put, I can put Michigan right with the Kentucky, even below or above them. I, that's the only one that I have any strong feelings of your rankings. And I'm, I'm an Iowa graduate. So I think you've got Iowa, right. And I know the big 10 better than the other conference, but I, that's, I understand that's where you like to debate. I understand your knock on Michigan, but Kentucky I'm giving, I would guess that if this list went to thousands of people, which hopefully it eventually will, that most people would think I have Kentucky overranked. Kentucky was just four and six. They are five and six with a bowl win just a year ago. They let's go nine, 10, 11. Cause I'll six, I'll, I'll give into your point there. Let's go nine, 10, 11. Yeah. Oregon, Penn state, Wisconsin. Do I have a leg to stand on in any of those three, or you want to stand pat on your well on your argument versus mine? Oregon just got obliterated by Utah twice, and they play in a much worse conference, so they therefore play a much easier schedule than Michigan. And they've changed head coaches. So while the Michigan situation seems unstable to a certain extent, they have the same head coach. Oregon's got a new head coach who, again, hasn't proven anything. I think he's a good hire. Uh, I'm not going to rank Oregon above Michigan when they the, the wins that they're achieving are against worse competition, and they're coming off a 10 and four season. Michigan's coming off 12 and two, and Oregon's changing its coaches. And Penn State's certainly going 11 and 11 the last two years. I'm not going to rank them ahead of Michigan. I'll, uh, I'll wave, a white, wave a white flag and let you continue on the program. My compliments <laughs> to all your work. Well, I appreciate it. You don't need to do that. That's for sure. That's why I'm here to, to take uh, some shots. And I, and I want to hear from everyone because uh, I have never pretended any kind of rankings that I come up with to be perfect, just sensical.